Uh, David, we go now to the <laughs> Daily Telegraph with you. Uh, a giant leap, this is page five, a giant leap for medicine. A scientist have successfully regrown the legs of a frog. Yes, now frog's legs is something we, the French say is a delicacy, but it, it may in fact help uh, lots of amputees. Um, uh, in the future. This is a medical breakthrough, or the start of a medical breakthrough in, in the University of Massachusetts, where they amputated a frog's leg and then used, um, put a sleeve with a concoction of chemicals and drugs on them, which helped the frog to grow a new limb. Mm. Um, so there's hope that, that a long that way off, would be able, we'll be able to respond to in the so, same way. Now, in, in the UK, for instance, there are 250,000 amputees and 9,000 people every year yeah. lose their legs through diabetes. Mm -hmm. So it would bring hope to those sort of people um, or in the future mm. if, if this... If this Scientific. Uh, uh, Although I suppose that when we look at the makeup of a frog, it is much more gelatinous and um, it's different than us, isn't it, in, in many ways? Yes, but, but all scientific breakthroughs start with yes. something quite small and uh, yeah, it, it, it's something, isn't it? It's something to, mm. to pin your hopes on and it uh, certainly shows that mm -hmm. si when scientists get their teeth into something like yes. this, they, they, yeah. they often find um, other things you know, they can do. Is it, I mean, we're talking about this and we think, oh, this is great. Is it OK to experiment on a frog? You know, because then you would say, is it OK to experiment on a beagle? which I don't think it is. Mm. Um, it's interesting, isn't it, when it you is, begin yeah, to it's think... Yeah, it's a bit of a moral maze. I think if I was an amputee, I'd be for it. Yes, yeah, yeah. It is a big question, big debate. Get in touch with us at GB News.